Welcome to InThisCornerTV.com, brought to you by Takate, Cerveza Con Caracter. I'm Smitty with 140-pound world champion Amir Khan. He takes on Lamont Peterson two days after his 25th birthday. Uh, so that would be what? That would be December the 10th in Washington, D.C. Preparation for this fight. Tell us about it. Yeah, preparation has been going really well. We've had great sparring over here. We've been sparring with a kid called Omosa who's... Um, He's had, he's had a great record of 18 fights and 17 knockouts, uh, and is a very, very big puncher and very similar style to Peterson, uh, but a lot heavier and stronger physically. And so, training going well with him, and also um, being we've had a lot of other good sparring partners like um, David Rodella, who also sparred with Manny Pacquiao, who, who can read a fighter quite well. And um, you know, Freddie's happy with the way we've we've been training Alex Ruiza. He's happy the way I've been doing my strength conditioning and also my track runs and my swimming and everything. So, you know, we've not done anything that, um, you know, like we've not left anything out at this camp. We've done everything that we have to do and we've trained very, very hard and we've not, like I said, we've not missed anything. So when I do go into the fight December 10th, I'm going to be more than ready. I'm going to be 100% in shape. And like I said, it's two days after my birthday and um, hopefully I can give myself a birthday present. Yeah, you, you want to, I would think, get him out of there uh, quick so you can uh, get to the, uh, the celebration. What do you know about Peterson? Peterson's very tricky. You know, he's, he's a tall, uh, long boxer, um, strong, comes forward, um, throws looping body shots and looping head shots, and, um, you know, he likes to keep that distance as well when he fights. And also when he is inside, he likes to fight inside as well. So, you know, he's a very tricky fighter. We have to be on game inside and outside uh, distance when we fight him. I think the best way of beating him is just by being smart and one step ahead of him, picking the right shots at the right time, hurting him, and once we have him under pressure, not letting go. Do you work on, at this point, I would imagine, working with Freddie, that you yeah. work on not only your own stuff, but you prepare for the fighter. So it's a combination of bettering Amir Khan yeah. and preparation for that particular fighter, right? That's, all, that's what we do. We be, first of all, we look at the game plan. What we, how we're going to beat La One Piece and what we have to do. And then we work on the mistakes I made, I make, so just to improve their mistakes and so we don't make their mistakes because on the other hand, La One Piece is going to be watching my tapes. So we want to go into that fight different. I always say whenever I go into a fight, I'm always different, something new in my armor, um, something new in my style. And hopefully going into this fight is going to be totally different. You know, Le Mans Peterson is going to be sh seeing a new Amir Khan and a better Amir Khan. Excited to fight in the nation's capital? Yeah, I mean, I love fighting all over um, the world and to fight in the capital is going to be massive. They've not had a fight there for a long, long time, a big fight like this, and it's going to be massive to go there and fight there. And I was there not long ago meeting the Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, and when I, I couldn't really believe how many fans I met in D.C. I never knew I was that known in D.C., so that's what gave me kind of, you know, gave me an edge that, look, why don't we get a fight over there and it be in the capital and not far from, America, from England. It's only a six-hour flight. You know, I thought it's, it might be a good idea. So uh, the fight's been made in D.C. now at the convention centre and we're looking at getting between 15 and 30,000 people. Prediction? Prediction, the fight. I never, I never say I'm going to knock my opponent out. I never say I'm going to go in there and knock him out within a round. But, you know, I think this fight, I don't think he'll go the full distance. Uh, a late stoppage will be good. And um, as long as we stick to the game plan, we'll make it easy work. You know who's a good friend of our show and, uh, and our stuff on the Internet as well is a guy, I, I get, a feel, get the feeling you might want to fight him. Maybe you have a message to him. His name is uh, Floyd Mayweather. And that name keeps coming up uh, in association with you, which I actually think would be a very entertaining fight. You know, the styles make fights, and I think the style I have will make it a very exciting fight between me and Floyd. Floyd's very technical. I'm very technical myself with speed and power. Floyd's, you know, got speed on his side as well and power. So it'll make it, it'll be like a game of chess, but with a little bit of explosiveness. And, um, yeah, definitely. When I move up, move up to 147 and I have a fight and I get my feet wet there and then, I kind of move on to the bigger names. Floyd Mayweather is one I want to fight. And I really think, you know, it's all about timing this game. And I really think it's the best time to catch him is going to be when I'm, when I'm next year, just before I turn 26. I'll be hitting my peak. I'll be strong. I'll be explosive. I've got the best trainer in my corner who, who's been watching Floyd for years and years because the Pacquiao fight has not come off. So maybe I'd be the first guy in the camp to fight Floyd and be the first ever guy to ever beat him. 
And in preparation for that, now I'm going to get it on camera so he's going to promise us, guys. So in preparation, I've already been in the ring with Floyd. I'm not going to say that I defeated Floyd in our in-ring segment, but I hung in there. Actually, we've been in the ring with over 40-some-odd world champions, and I'm unbeaten. Now, I'm winless, but I've survived all along the way. So you and I have a date to get inside the squared circle and showcase not my skills, your tremendous that skills. Be, yeah, I think that should be a good idea. You'll get to see, I'm not going to show you too much, but I'm only going to give you a few tips. Amir Khan, best of luck. Mm -hmm.